Hello my friends, welcome back to Keto in the Chaos. My name is Tammy and on this channel I like to share all of my tips and tricks on how I lost 200 pounds without surgery and how you can be successful on your own weight loss journey. So if that's what you're looking for, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the bell for more videos like this one to inspire you to get started. Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm excited that you have come back to check in on me on my keto cut for the summer. I am now officially into week nine. I am into week nine of 12 for my keto cut and I am sharing with you my July results and my summer slideshow. So I hope that, that you will enjoy this video and that you will get some benefit out of it. The way that I am losing weight is I am eating ketogenically just like I do all the time even when I am not trying to lose weight with a really good calorie deficit. And the way that I get my calorie deficit is by keeping my protein level the same as I was before. So I always hit 120 grams of protein every single day, sometimes more. And that's what I'm continuing to do as I go into this keto cut. The way that I get my calorie level low and give a nice deficit is by decreasing my fats. So I consume between 50 and 80 fats per day and I really try to stick in the low 60s if at all possible. And that seems to be my sweet spot for burning body fat. Um, the reason why it works so great is because you, when you don't consume so much dietary fat, your body has to get that fat, fat that it needs to make ketones from your body, which is the goal, right? That's what we're here for. So that is how I do it. I have a lot more information, of course, on other videos. And I think it's really funny because I am wearing the same outfit today that I was wearing in the June video. I just realized I'm wearing the same shirt, which is kind of funny. And I have my hair pulled back again. I promise I'm filming these on different days. It is so weird. So it's almost the end of July. It's not quite to the end of July. I have a couple more days left to try and lose a couple more pounds or a couple more ounces, whatever. Um, but I decided to go ahead and film this video um, because I've got four weeks of pictures that I need to show, show you at the end of this video. So my results in July were actually really, really great. I had several days in July that I ate planned high calorie days. So really, that could have kicked me in the butt and stopped my weight loss, but it did not. So as of this last weigh-in, I was down to 173.2. So I don't know if you guys remember in my last video with my last slideshow, I was down to 179.4. So that is a 6.2 pound loss for four weeks. It wasn't even a full month. I didn't even get all the way to July 31st. So that's pretty crazy. I can't even believe that. Like it's, better than I could have dreamed. And you know what that means? I hit the official 200 pounds lost again, and now I am to 201 pounds lost, which is amazing. So at the end of this slideshow, just for funsies, since I did lose the 200 pounds again, I'm gonna include a before and after from my original before and let you guys see where I'm at that way as well as just with the keto cut. So I hope you enjoy that, it, it ought to be interesting. I definitely look a lot different than I have for my entire adult life. This week I've been going through my 2008 pictures, I've been doing my daughter's scrapbook, I'm so far behind in my scrapbooking, and I have been seeing pictures of myself that make me wanna just scream and run away. And what's really crazy is that that's how I was my entire adult life. And I didn't feel like it was weird or uncomfortable, and I was happy and, I just think, wow, how could my life have been so much different if I had found keto sooner? It's just been really eye-opening for me. And I don't really wanna go back and change anything, but it is really eye-opening for me to see how big I really was when I wasn't even to my biggest. Because in 2008, I was not as big as I was in 2017 when I finally found keto. So, wow. Kind of crazy. Anyway, I don't want to talk your ear off forever. I just wanted to update you on how things went. I was perfect macros for every single day in July, except for the ones that I planned to have a higher calorie day and have kind of like a keto treat day. I don't really have a lot of keto treat days planned for August, so I don't know how great or how not great it will be. Um, my secret, my secret hope is that I will actually see the 160s in August. So. Wish me luck, guys. I think it's possible. I'm starting to feel like it's possible, but you just never know because with my body, sometimes it just decides to stop for a while and and I keep kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop because it's been going so well this summer. 
So yeah, I'm heading into week nine and I will be doing another update video like this, of course, at the end of August, showing you all my pictures. And I have some more pictures to add to this slideshow. So let's get to the slideshow and I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll talk to you all again soon. Hope you guys enjoyed that little slideshow that was kind of fun um, it's kind of fun for me too to kind of just see how it looks now it's not a dramatic difference because of course this is just a short-term kind of thing but in all honesty it is pretty dramatic because since May 29th I was 196 so since May 29th I have lost basically 23 pounds in eight weeks which is pretty crazy in all honesty like Usually I see that kind of weight loss like if I'm really really big not if I'm Only a few pounds from my goal because like my original goal was 163 So I'm like 10 pounds away from my ultimate goal Wow, so yeah looking forward to seeing what August will bring me and I Hope that you guys will stick around for my journey. Don't forget to check out all the links in the about section for great information on how you can get started doing keto or how you can support this channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you all again soon.